Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. We designed Xbox One to be your Xbox One. I'm here with Emily and Zach from the Xbox team, and they're going to tell us exactly what that means. Let's talk about what is going to happen the first day when I open up my Xbox One and I want to play a game. Walk me through that experience. After setting up your Xbox One, you can decide to play content, you can play games, you can play movies. You can download that game that just came out at 11 p.m. without having to run to the store. Or you can go to the store and have the experience that you're used to where you buy a disc and then that disc belongs to you and you can sell it to a friend later or to a game store. So really it's about your choice. Now if you buy them digitally, you can also start playing your games as they download, right? Yeah, that's right. As soon as it becomes playable, you can start and it'll just keep downloading in the background as you play. Zach, playing games is a little different on Xbox One. Explain that. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we really focused on when we designed this console is making everything faster. So let's imagine I was playing that game that you were talking about downloading, and I come back the next day. Um, you're going to be able to get into that really quickly. So I say Xbox on, the system will turn on very fast. So I can just jump right back into that game, and it resumes right where I was. So it's really going to change how people think about playing games. Now it makes it really possible to drop in, play a game for 10 minutes just while I have a break and we even go do something else. Emily, Xbox One is all about personalization. What does that mean when I sign in? Well, one of the really exciting things that we're doing is we're allowing people to be biometrically recognized. So what that means is when you first sign in, you say, oh, I want to be recognized by Connect." From then on, every time you come in front of the Xbox and engage with it somehow, it will recognize that it's you and show you your home with your content and the recent things that you've done. So you don't even need to pick up your controller. You know, if you have it set up, you can walk in the room, bloop. Hello, Major Nelson. Right, yeah, if, if you turn on your Xbox and you're in front of it, then it will recognize you and you'll be right there at your content. I actually think this gets even cooler when you have multiple people in the room too. So if Emily and I were together, I could have Xbox One show me my home screen. She could tell Xbox One to switch to her home, and then we'd see her home screen and all of her personalized content. And that's all because Kinect can see who I am, can see who she is, and know the difference when I'm talking versus she is. Emily, tell us about pins. Pins are really cool because you can choose the content that you want to access quickly all the time, and you can put it right there on the first level of the user interface. So for example, you can have musicians that you like, you can have TV shows or movies pinned, you can have your favorite games pinned, and websites that you go to often. Yeah, and I think bringing that into the world where we have multitasking makes this even cooler, right? Like, I can open up Internet Explorer and then have music sitting there on the side, be playing in the background while I'm browsing the web and then I can switch over to watching a movie. Boom, then a friend pops online, I can go and resume that game that resumes really quickly, right? So I'm able to just bounce around and because the system has all those content options on it, you can really do anything you're interested in. So whether it's games, TV, music, movie, sports, all of it, you have instant access to it and you can switch amongst it real quick. That's right, it's right. gonna be awesome. So I'm really excited to see what game makers are gonna do once they have this in their hands. I'm pumped for everyone to get their Xbox, open it up, and check it out.